Hi guys. Um, wow, what a morning. Um, my storage keeps running out, so I'm just I'm just trying to make a video. Um, this has been my journey with the Lord. This is all glory to God because uh, <laughs> there's no way. Um, so I saw a video or I saw a YouTube short on Astana, which is a capital city, a brand new capital city in Kakistan, Kazakhstan, Kazakhstan, excuse me. Um, and it was about, it was a YouTube short, short about how it was a Illuminati capital city. Well, I just, it, it blew my mind because the first picture on there was a picture of a phoenix. And just a couple weeks ago, I, probably about a month ago, I had a dream of a phoenix that I didn't even know was a phoenix, first of all. It, you know, I kind of surfed the YouTube and, or whatever, researched it and, and recognized in my dream that it was a phoenix. And so I, I went down a rabbit hole of searching and realized that the phoenix <laughs> In short, was Satan represents Satan in the Illuminati world, um, and it, it's just total mockery of of God's life. If you look into the Illuminati stuff, you know of of Jesus Christ. Um, and I had a dream that I landed. I went through trees and I landed into a nest, and my hand was on an egg. Okay, and please listen to me, and please don't judge me. Um, I'm just, like I said, my video keeps running short, so I'm just going to read from 2 Thessalonians 2. Concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our being gathered to him. Hallelujah. Um, we ask you, brothers, not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by some prophecy, report, or letter supposed to have come from us, saying that the day of the Lord has already come. Don't let anyone deceive you in any way, for that day will not come until the rebellion occurs and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the man doomed to destruction. Um, here, I'm going to, instead of putting it on me, I'm going to put it on the, I don't know if you can see it. Well, you can't see it. Okay. Anyways, Second Thessalonians, just read it, um, is revealed and the man doomed to destruction. He will oppose and will exalt himself over everything that is called God or is worshipped so that he sets himself up in God's temple, proclaiming himself to be God. Don't you remember that when I was with you, I used to tell you these things, and now you know what is holding him back, the Holy Spirit, so that he may be revealed at the proper time for the secret power of lawlessness is already at work, but the one who holds it back will continue to do so until he has taken out of the way, and then the lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will overthrow with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. The coming of the lawless one will be in accordance with the work of Satan displayed in all kinds of counterfeit miracles, signs, and wonders, and every sort of evil that deceives those who are perishing. They perish because they refuse to love the truth and to be saved. Please believe Jesus Christ is King, um, Lord of Lords, that he died for your sins. Uh, past, present, and future. He died on the cross for you. He loves you so much. Um, and if you want to hear from him, read his word. Um, okay. For this reason, God sends them a powerful delusion so that they will believe the lie and so that all will be condemned who have not believed the truth but delight in wickedness. Okay. So the Lord will open up your eyes and take the veil off your eyes once you believe in his son. I mean, if you have a child 
God wants you to love his son, your future king. You know, he wins in the end, and it's pretty much a battle of good and evil. Okay, now I'm just going to move forward to this. Um, I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry about my dogs. I got one that is in heat, and I have another boy dog. And anyways, so if you hear them whining, that's what I've been dealing with all week. Um, but anyways... While our eyes have been on all this chaos in the world, um, the coronavirus, the vaccines, the racism, which is just the silliest thing, you know, I always joke with my kids because I'm Filipino and I say, well, what about me? <laughs> you know, everybody forgets Filipinos. But anyways, um, so while the world has been on Ukraine, war, China, Taiwan, all this stuff, Astana has been being built, and it is full of Illuminati symbols, full. They have the Peace Pyramid. Um, they've had world summits about New World Order loving all the religions. And let me just tell you, that goes, I mean, it's so satanic. I can't, I, I can't even handle it. Like, they're... They want to control the world and, and keep on making you believe that all world religions should be one and we all need to get along and that will bring peace and safety. And that is absolutely a lie. And that is written in this Bible. When they say peace and safety, birth pains, total destruction will come upon them like birth pains of a woman. It's in here. Um, I don't know if that's Matthew 24. I You know, it's in here. But... So I was looking up pictures and um, I think it, his name is Nur Sultan, something like that. There's pictures of him with Obama, with Trump, with Putin. Um, so it's, it's just like our whole, everything we've been going through is, is just a setup, you know. They're going to have these elections and it's all one big lie. It's been planned from the beginning. Um, just look it up. Look up Astana and look how peaceful it is and how modern and 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 all the symbolism and all the one thing that got me, um, Bailey, you guys, relax. Oh my dogs. Um. Anyways, so it just, it blew my mind, really. Um, so I had a dream about this phoenix. I never knew what a phoenix was. It's evil. Well, this Astana, they have a phoenix fountain. Um, they've had like a, a film festival that had a big picture of a phoenix on it. And, uh, so they have this tower and it's called the Beitarek Tower. And it, and then they have this World River Bank that's called the Tree of Life. I mean, these are all things from the Bible. But this Bayerek Tower, if you read into it, it's a nest. It, I had a dream of a nest, and I had my hand on an egg. And, and this morning, I don't know, something just led me to Tesla's egg thing, but it just blew my mind, you guys, like how it's all glory to God. I don't know what to say, but I just want to put this out for other watchmen because all I have is this phone. I don't have a computer. I, I wish today, I wish I had a computer so that I could show you all these things I've been looking up. But if you go to my community page, um, I tried, I tried posting as much as I could find, and you guys can go from there just to see how evil this is and their game plan for everything. I mean, that it is their capital city. Their capital looks like the White House. Um, the tower is ridiculous. There was some phoenix wings, a building of phoenix wings uh, reaching the sky. You know, everything about it is evil. And um, that is exactly what they're against. They're against anybody, uh, you know, so just pray for me, please pray. I, but I just, I, I love you, Watchmen, and I know you can, you guys have the technology to make beautiful videos. 
Um, but this is something that's very big and, and very big on my heart. And, and I'm just hoping that this is like, you know, other people have made videos on this. I, I, I looked it up. So it, it, for a while they have been revealing that it is the Illuminati capital city. But my dream for me personally just sets it in stone that it is a very, their agenda that comes out of that place is very evil. It looks like it's the most peaceful place. It's the most modern capital being set up, almost like they're ruining the whole earth with their media lies and their, you know, putting in, you know, just all this stuff that we've been going through in the last two years that are lies, um, just trying to destroy the whole world. And then they're like, they want to rule out of that city, but we know the Bible. We know how the story ends. They lose, Jesus wins. He comes back with his bride. And so I'm just hoping that us watchmen, brothers and sisters, the bride of Christ is revealing the lawless one. I mean, I don't, obviously know the antichrist but everything set up all over the world is against jesus christ um which is king which is lord of lords um and i love him with all my heart all my mind and all my soul and i love brothers and sisters and i i have busy schedules and a house to clean you know, all the time, and dogs, one which is in heat, and the other one that has been uh, howling for the last couple of days for her, and I have a normal life, I don't have a lot of money, I mean, we just, I'm blessed by the Lord, um, I know, I'm no better than anybody else, guys, you, every God has given everybody a gift. I just see it as a symphony of us brothers and sisters. Um, you know, God has, you know, chose us and, and raised us up to reveal truth in all different forms, you know. Um, and I listen to you all and I combine you all without judging you. And, and, and then I read my Bible and then I go to Christ. And, and for the last two years, I've woke up every morning and read my Bible. I, I wasn't like that. I'm 42 years old. So, um, trust me, I used to sleep until noon, you know, and then I had kids and all sorts of stuff. But, um, I don't know, just this, just look into this, look into Astana, A-S-T-A-N-A -A of Kazakhstan. The Illuminati Capital Pre Presidential Park It is full of the Pyramid of Peace. They say peace and safety. Um, they promise peace and safety always, but look around world. We are not in, at peace and safety, and you believing in all different religions is not going to give you peace and safety. Jesus is the peace that the world cannot give. Um He's always been good. He's always come through. You know, my life has not been easy. It's been a tough one. And, and But God, it's just, you know, something happened two years ago. I just realized, like, you know, I'm not going to play games anymore. The, Jesus Christ is Lord, and, and I'm fascinated by this. And, yes, I am a conspiracy head, but these are not conspiracies. This is truth. Um and Jesus Christ is coming. And for the last two years, I personally have studied the scriptures. And, and there are hundreds of thousands of people, maybe not tons, but there, there is a remnant of people that know Jesus Christ is coming. And they know it because they know Jesus. They have the Holy Spirit within them. And if you know Jesus, and then you know your enemy, and you know his characteristics, and you know... I don't know. I just, I've watched all sorts of things, you know, and, and so I've picked up on Illuminati symbols and, um, I went to school for art. So I just, my brain recognizes these things, you know, uh, that, that, that city Astana is full of them, full of the pyramid, full of the Phoenix. Uh, just look it up. Um, 
It was built in 2012, it says. These are just some notes I jotted down. Um, but yeah, Satan always wants to be like God in everything he does. And so it's really easy when you know the Lord to find him, you know. Um, and he thinks he he's so prideful, you know, that that's the worst sin is pride, you know. I have no pride only in Jesus Christ, you know, like ask the Lord to take your pride away and, 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 and just surrender and humble yourself before him and, and take your day lightly and say, Lord, use me. But, um, I'm just blown away by this guys, you know, I'm really blown away at the last two years of everything. And the reason I'm blown away is because I had a dream of it. You know, like I said in my other video, it'd be one thing if I just was digging and looking at this stuff online um, and and uncovering Illuminati secrets and, and things like just like other people. But I had a dream of it. I was on this inner tube. I went through a bunch of trees. I went down a hill. And, um, I landed in an eagle's nest and, and it unveiled to me the United States seal, uh, used to be a Phoenix, but okay. So I landed in this eagle's nest. My hand was on the egg. I was afraid that I was going to crush the eagle's nest. You know, I didn't want to, I thought I crushed its egg, but I didn't. And then right after that, this bird white and glowing flew over me and I looked at it and it had a long tail and I in my dream I said wow you're beautiful but then when I woke up from that dream I I didn't even know it was a phoenix first of all I looked up white glowing bird or something and then a, then I saw the picture and I and it said phoenix and I was like oh that was the bird. You know, I, I was just like, just, I'm a goofball. I just was looking at stuff, you know? And, um, I told some people that I respect and, and they probably thought I was crazy, but now here I am a month later and here's the Astana with the, it just has the Phoenix all over it. And anyways, so when I got done with my dream, um, I heard in my spirit, I went outside after having all, like just being mind blown from it all. I went outside and was doing some chores and I was thinking about it because I was under a lot of spiritual attack, like right before I fell asleep and, um, just really, really stressed out and, and just trying to fight this, whatever it was. And, uh, I heard in my spirit, take every thought captive, you know, you know, is this witchcraft? Is this, does this mean something else? And immediately there was an awesome sister in Christ that I love. And, and she made me think about the Phoenix and I was thinking about it as well as it being Lucifer. And so then of course I look up, you know, this was, and then I look up United States seal and dig a little deeper and I find out the Phoenix is Lucifer. And I'm just like, what the heck, you know? And, and so I let that go. I got other things to take care of in my life. You know, I've got stuff, lots of stuff, um, normal stuff that we all deal with. I have a family and, and, and just, you know, but wow, is all I got to say. Astana is, is got a big Phoenix you know, and another thing is these, um, I'm, I've starting to notice in movies, like with the veil lifted and knowing the Bible, you're starting to see certain actors and, and that you grew up loving that are doing evil things like Tom Hanks, somebody caught in Forrest Gump. He was giving the Illuminati symbol, um, or hand gesture or something like that. And I, I remember when coronavirus first come out that he was the first actor to have Corona. And then we realized, you know, it's just all these things tying together. And I know a lot of you brothers and sisters know all this, this, I, I know this because of you brothers and sisters. So yeah.
I'm sorry, I'm talking lots of fast. Simmer down. <laughs> I'm just blown away, you know. Um, at first I was a little scared, you know, uh, but then I, of course, we know uh, our God does not give the spirit of fear, but of peace and a sound mind. And um, and I will go on my day listening to some worship music and and having a good day, but please make some videos about this because the world needs to know they had a religious summit. I posted it on my community page, so look it up, you know. Um, I love you guys. Let me see if I can just find something loving instead of so scary, you know. It's not scary, but I just... Um, I don't know. The Lord is the sh our shepherd. I shall not want, you know. Um, I was reading First Thessalonians today, and it sounds like the rapture everything sounds like the rapture to me now you know <laughs> um but i'll just go I, I i'll leave it at that and um i better let you go because both of my dogs have to go out they are whining and i have to try to keep them separated for a couple more days because we didn't fix my lab and our other dog is not fixed so um but jesus christ loves you Please read your Bibles so that you can know the difference between good and evil. And um, and if you haven't already, please give your life to Jesus Christ. And he will show up. Just be patient, you know. If you don't feel anything, just, just have faith, you know. It's faith through grace, you know. And, and, and pray to him. And then pray in his name. He says, whatever you ask in my name, I'll give to you, you know. And believe it and receive it. Um, so, yeah, I love you. Astana is, a. Uh, you see, it, it, it's not good. <laughs> it's just very evil. And, um, check it out. It's weird place. People, like, weird place. I, feel, we, I really feel like we're in, like, the Truman Show and, and the Matrix now. You know, the wheat from the tares. Um, I don't know. Anyway, you guys have a good day. I have to take these dogs out. I love yous.